<clears throat> Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to bring you guys the updated Mana RF character. Now just note that this is in solo self-found, so everything that I'm doing, you guys can absolutely acquire in trade, if not much, much better. Um, so everything has pretty much went according to the previous guide uh, that I put out, which was basically just a hypothesis theory because I've never actually played it before. We started RF at about level 40. I kind of like level 35, but I would recommend about level 40. Um, and you want Divine Guidance. So this is just the bare bone minimum to get up and running. Divine Guidance gives you a shit ton of mana and gives you that extra conversion. Uh, with the tree, it was pretty simple. You pretty much just come right out through here and then you grab your Retribution, come down, grab your Holy Dominion and your Light of Divinity. And then you simply come like this, grab your Mind Over Matter, Grab your mana recovery, come down, grab this jewel slot, and grab the one from, uh, uh, it's, it's Act 2, basically, it gives you this one, Survival Instincts from, uh, I can't forget, I can't remember what it's called, it's where the cemetery is, here, the crypt. Come down, come down, keep going, grab Shaper, go down, all the way, all the way, and boom. When you get Supreme Ego, Supreme Ego plus Clarity gives you an insane amount of mana regen. After you get Supreme Ego, then you can get Agnostic. After you get Supreme Ego and Agnostic, that's when you start filling in your mana nodes. Um, so you get like, for example, Dynamo. I got Dynamo last. Um, you've got Battle Ruse, which is really good because it gives you flat mana. Um, same with this node, it gives you flat. Arcane Chemistry is really good because it gives you the maximum mana along with basically flask usage. Flasks are very, very good. Um, and then I decided to go into Essence Extraction because it really helps with the mana sustain um, on your flasks. I might end up removing this after I get my Uber Lab because when I get my Uber Lab, I'll be immune to elemental ailments uh, via Arcane Blessing. Now, I'm currently running in a Tabula, Ink AoE, Righteous Fire, Burn Damage, Efficacy, Inspiration, and Ellie Focus. If you're using Inspiration, you need to make sure that you're getting Inspiration stacks from somewhere else. So at the moment I have inspiration on my flame dash. If you don't want to set up inspiration, use arcane surge and rapid decay. If you use arcane surge, it kind of bugs RF so that it can get the duration tag, which allows you to use rapid decay. So with that being said, I'm about to go jump into a map. I'm just going to kind of hover over my gear. Nothing is really super good except for a couple of things. For an example, I've got these boots that we ended up crafting. Uh, they ended up not having movement speed and had an armor roll. We used the Farmville simulator to remove the armor and then craft movement speed, which was really nice. I've got a pretend searing touch right here, which is fantastic. Uh, I've got my basically garbage helmet and nothing really too good here. I am trying to get the mana regen roll essentially everywhere. So with that being said, let me go ahead and jump right into a map with you guys or for you guys. Here is our current Righteous Fire. Now note that we can get quite a bit more AoE than what we have at the moment. If you want to do some, some AoE clear, utilizing the Infernal Cry, the new one, uh, adds for some really juicy area clear. The only problem with Infernal Cry is you can get stunned very easily as we're a low life build. Low life, no pun intended, we have really low life. Um, but we're going to be getting Unwavering Stance right around level, I think it's 80, 81. I believe we're getting Unwavering Stance. At this point also, we're going to be grabbing Arsonist, which is going to give us one of our first sources of fire damage over time multiplier with the exception of our staff, which is really cool. Also, don't mind my scuffed Arcane Surge. I have so much minus mana cost that my level 18 Flame Dash cannot trigger a level 1 Arcane Surge every time yet. So I'm going to show you guys really fast what I meant with the Infernal Cry. We're going to go over to Farmville, come over to this Farmville right over here, drop our Orb of Storms, tap this, hit the Infernal Cry, and look at that. That's done. Thank you very much, Gigi. -Gi. I appreciate that. Condense that Life Force. Let's go back to our map. To show you guys our clarity currently, we're at 560 mana regen per second. If I get one point in clarity, one level up is giving us 11 mana regen per second. If I turn off my clarity, I go from 571 MP per second to 340. 
That's how strong just a little baby clarity is. Uh, I'm running around spamming Orb of Storms because Orb of Storms gives us... I've got Orb of Storms, Curse on Hit, Flammability, and then Increased Critical Strikes. The Increased Critical Strikes is really good because it keeps up the LA Overload. The Flame Dash keeps up the Inspiration. And then I'm using Smoke Mind just because I prefer the movement speed. And I like the conjunction of Smoke Mind because you can go like... You basically go like this. And, this. It's nice. and then for bossing, we simply put in Conk. Green KOE, run up to the boss's face, tap Vol RF, and then hold right click, and then they die. Put that back on. Uh, I have Elemental Equilibrium already. Elemental Equilibrium is pretty much the bare bone of every RF build. That's why you utilize something like Orb of Storms or Stormbrand or whatever you prefer. Because it will essentially apply the elemental equilibrium to the target, thus reducing their resistance. It's also, this is kind of a weird thing, but totems do not get cursed, but they are affected by Ellie Equilibrium. So if you notice that you can't kill totems, probably because you don't have Ellie Equilibrium. Ooh, a shrine. This is probably hit right up here. Good, good, good. Alright, and that's going to be our map. The only downside I've noticed with this build right now is that it feels a little bit difficult to do Blight because RF has limited AoE. But I think if you just brute force your damage, it'll be okay. Uh, and then the last thing is, when you're leveling in the super early stages, because I'm lazy and I didn't mule any gems, I just used Magma Orb. It felt fine. If you don't want to use Magma Orb, you can use like Fireball, you can use Firestorm. I mean, to be honest, you don't pick up any fire damage early game. So you can honestly use whatever spell or even attack if you want to that your heart would desire. Um, utilizing something like Magma Orb or Fireball with Volley and or with LMP would also be totally fine. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you guys had any questions feel free to drop them down below in the in the youtube comments uh just remember that this character also runs 70 percent chance to block and 50 percent spell block um it's also cool to note that the spell block gives us 50 percent mono regen from mystic bulwark and the 70 percent block chance that we have uh gives us i don't remember actually but if you decide to anoint like command of steel as an example that's going to be 70% increased damage, which is going to be really nice. Anyway, take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the build. If you are, feel free to stop by twitch.tv slash pox. Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. But I'm out. Take care. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.